let's welcome Braden back with a roundup of some of the entertainment out there for you. Oh, Braden, hello. Hello, how are we? Good, first of all, Oscars. I mean, it was a few days ago, but yeah. what did you think? Who am I? Well, who am I? Oh, yeah, who I'm am I? So you're Nicole Kidman. Yes, I am. That, that is so weird. weird. I thought they'd stretched her fingers. Like, I was like, that's a joke. No, that's it was not real. very strange. I do have to say, though, I felt like I was the only person in the world that didn't enjoy La La Land, and I stand by that. And <laughs> I know that you really had a gut me. And then when I went one, I was like, oh, yeah, La La. And then. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> I was like, ha, see, I was right. Uh, but, uh, or were well, not you? quite right. No, look, it has its place. But okay, just, no, it's because I'm debating whether or not, you know, to spend my money. Oh, going. God, I think you'll you should, love it. You will not, love you it. Yeah. I, I yeah. think you should see it, but I, 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 I don't know. I'd created these expectations in my mind, and then mm. I kind of went, ah, oh, I didn't love that as much okay. as I thought. Anyway, yes. back home, yes. I want to talk about a, a local independent film, and I, this has been a real learning curve for me because I didn't understand what independent really meant. And it's this is a film called West of Eden, and they got no funding. So everything that the creators of this film, Alistair Riddell, who's the director, um, he was in Space Waltz all those years ago with that song Out on the Street. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And and Vanessa is a producer, his wife, she stars in it as well. And th they spoke really well at the the premiere of this film, just talking about how hard it is to get a film off the ground. Mm. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's set in 1960s New Zealand. It is a gay couple. You can imagine the challenges that come with that. And what they've done is they've captured that whole story of, of a totally different time, coincided with Pride Week when, when they opened or they did the premiere for that one. And it's due to open at Rialto. But I thought we'd have a wee look. You know it. Everyone knows that farm. Billy Williams. Tom. I reckon it'll be the best farm around here by the time my son gets it. Come in. It's going to accept your love. Well, they have said to us. Will you always love me, Tess? This time I'm staying. Not if I can help it. You shot Jack. No. Yes. Oh, nice. so is nice. it like a Kiwi Brokeback Mountain? I think it would be unkind to compare it to Brokeback Mountain, but Vanessa has actually said that she's she never saw it. She's never seen Brokeback Broke Mountain, Mountain, so Me it's neither. not that... Yeah. That's, well, you should, mm. actually. You mm. should. Nice. Um, so, yeah, that's that's out at the moment. Well, it's coming out very, very soon. It's at Rialto. And if you like oh. Kiwi stuff and you like that sort of theme, I'd definitely go Support local. That. Yeah, totally. No, and my mate, um, my mate uh, played Tom. My mate yeah. Luke played Tom, so good on you, Luke. Good work. Awesome. I measure films that... Uh, grab me on a subject matter I'm not really into, well that's how I kind of measure them, and when I saw the, tr the teaser for this documentary about Bruce McLaren, it grabbed me straight away. That is coming out in June. Have we look at, at what, what the footage that we can see from this so far? If Bruce had come into the factory one morning and said, OK men, we're not going to work on racing cars today, we're going to march across the Sahara Desert. We'd all say, oh, OK, Bruce, no problem. Motor race is not something you just suddenly learn out of the blue. You've got to have it inside, and Bruce certainly had all that. The McLaren was the class of the field. I wanted to learn as much as I could because Bruce was an artist. So I'm not into yeah. motor racing, but I saw that and I went, you know what, that is something I absolutely have to see. Mm. So they've teased it now. It's out in June, and I think, you know, we'll be all going along to it see that. It looks superb. Yeah. Great slice of Kiwi history mm. as well. well and a lot of people probably drive past that shop, um, the McLaren shop, and probably have no idea that it's, you know, got such a big well, New Zealand yeah, history. Or well, McLaren school. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, And I just right. make finger marks on the glass there because I could never afford a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Just quickly, on Netflix, a couple of additions. If you've never seen Magic Mike XXL, that's been added to Netflix in the last week or so. And Pearl Harbor too. I love Pearl Harbor, and you've got issues. What does really? You don't yeah. like La La Land, but you love Pearl Harbor. We really are not on the same wavelength here at all. No, it's, uh, we're not often in sync. <laughs> we fair to say. Oh, that's uh, good. Just Thanks quickly, for good conversation. <laughs> just quickly to some events. Uh, Sublime uh, with Rome at the Bruce Mason Centre in Auckland tonight. S a number of times I've said to people, Sublime, and they go, "Who? Oh, what? Like, have you not heard this song? Classic. I love Sublime. Exactly." Uh, and Jason Kerrison at Tōtura Street, Mount Maunganui, Bay of Plenty uh, on Sunday as well. And he is great live, mm -hmm. especially when it's this kind of acoustic stuff as well. So plenty on this weekend, plenty on, the, on Netflix and plenty on at the movies as well.
Nice work, Brandon. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and Sublime, of course, obviously different lead singer because he tragically died very early on before the release of their first album. Yeah, so, but you know what? That shouldn't stop you going along because We're it's a moment in time. Yeah, apparently they're really, really good too. Yep. Hey, thank you so much, Brayden. Yeah.